Hey Logo Designers, this is Michael from the Logo Package, and today I'm going to show you how to use Logo Package Swatch. After you have installed Logo Package Swatch, you can open it in Illustrator by going to Window, Extensions, and then choosing Logo Package Swatch from the dropdown. If this is your first time using Logo Package Swatch, you'll have to log in using the email that you used to make your purchase and the license key that you received from us. After entering this information, the Activate Extension button will turn blue, Click it and you can begin using Logo Package Swatch right away. The first page you will see is a new project page and it will be named My Project by default. You can give this project any name you want. I'm going to call this Candy Barn. Then all you need to do is make a selection of any colors from your open document that you want to get color information for and then click Add Selected Colors in the extension window. This will automatically create a list of all of the colors you just selected, and the colors will automatically be named something interesting. Next, you can view all of the color information for one of these colors by clicking the expand arrow to the left of the color name. By default, we are shown hex values, RGB values, HSB, which is hue, saturation, and brightness, HSL, which is hue, saturation, and lightness, CMYK, Lab, and Pantone colors. Logo Package Swatch can find the best Pantone match for your color, but it cannot allow you to apply actual Pantone colors. There are a few ways that you can get this information out of the extension. You can click the copy icon next to any one of these color formulas. When you click the copy icon, you can just go ahead and paste that information anywhere and it should always match what is in the extension. You can also copy an entire color with a single click by clicking the copy icon to the right of the color name. This information is also pasted in correctly and it includes the color name as well. Lastly, you can copy all of the information about every color you have set with a single click. Go to Color Actions and click Copy All Colors. Now you can paste in the information for every single color in your list with a single action. Now I'd like to show you how you can customize all of the information that Logo Package Swatch gathers for you. Over in the extension window, I've already shown you how you can change the project name. You can also change color names. We provide these names automatically, but you may have your own names that you want to use. So all you have to do is go in and type in the name that you would prefer. We can make further customizations by going to the settings. The settings is in the upper right corner of the extension window. And here we can make changes to what color spaces are shown and also the format in which the color mixes are presented. So we have by default all of the color spaces turned on, but a few of them are less common. So perhaps our client doesn't need to know about HSL, HSB, or lab. Now only these colors will show up in the extension and also in the color sheet that the extension can create. I'm going to go to the color mix format settings and change to the bottom option, which is closer to the way that colors are presented in code. Now I'm going to go back and you will see that our colors have been updated to match our color space settings. The color spaces we turned off are no longer here and the formats now reflect what we put in the settings. Lastly, you can customize these mixes as well. Logo Package Swatch is a tool for gathering color information. It is not a tool for applying colors to objects in Illustrator. So any changes that we make here are simply to match what we would like to provide our clients with and not to make changes to the colors in Illustrator. So perhaps when I provide color information to my clients, I like to have nice round numbers. So instead of 17, I can change this to 20. Instead of 36, I can change it to 35. And instead of 17, I can choose 20. Now this color information reflects what I want. And anytime we copy out information or share this information with our clients, it's accurate to what we intend and not what Illustrator automatically suggests. Now let's take all the information that we've gathered and create a color sheet automatically using Logo Package Swatch. We can go up to Color Actions and then select Make Color Sheet. A system window will open up allowing you to choose a location. I'm just going to choose my desktop and click Open. And now we can open that file in Illustrator by using the shortcut Command or Control O and select our PDF. With these PDF import settings, we're going to want to choose All and we do not want to have import PDF pages as links for optimal performance checked because this will make our PDF uneditable. 
So I'm going to uncheck that and click OK. Now we have a PDF with all of the pages that contains all of our color information and swatches. We can make any changes we want. This is a fully editable PDF. See, I can give the swatches rounded corners or I can come in and change these fonts in any way I want. Let's just pick another font like Impact, and you have complete and total creative control over these color sheets. Lastly, I'm going to show you how you can create and manage projects using Logo Package Swatch. By default, we were given a single project when we opened the extension, but we can create more projects by going to Project Actions and New Project. Now we have a new project and are ready to set our new colors. I have some more swatches here, and all I have to do is make the selection again, and click Add Selected Colors. This project I'm going to call Tower of Tarot. And now anytime we want to visit our other project, all we need to do is come to Project Actions and Open Project. Here we will see a list of all of the projects that we have saved in Logo Package Swatch. And to open a project, we simply need to select the correct project from the list and click Open. Now you can see we are back in the Candy Barn project with all of the colors for Candy Barn. Lastly, we can delete projects by either going to Project Actions and clicking Delete Project. This will delete the active project in the extension window. Or we can go to Open Project and from the Projects List page, we can choose the Trash icon. Here I can delete this My Project. When you delete a project, to make sure that you're not accidentally deleting something, we will show you this warning and you must click continue in order to finish deletion of the project. And those are all of the ways that you can use Logo Package Swatch to gather color information, make color sheets, and save your color information as projects. Thanks for watching.